Okay, well luckily, yeah, the okay. first thing it asks you to find here in this workbook is um, B, C, D, E, which is this figure here. So B, C, D, E is a, and we've just <laughs> discovered that it's called a, how do you spell it? R-H-O-M-B-U-S. Ooh, wow, yeah, it's R-H-O-M-B-U-S. <laughs> Rom, us. I don't know. It's probably like Greek because I would guess Greek since the Greeks did uh, so much geometry. We just live in Euclid's world here. We're only visiting. So, um, is a rhombus. Now, I'll just show you a few properties for a rhombus. Um, one of them we've already mentioned is it must have, this is when you have a four sided figure where all sides are equal. So that's what, that's what, by definition, you get a rhombus. You can't guarantee anything else about the sides or the angles, but there is something else you can guarantee. Does anybody know? Uh, there's one more thing you can guarantee about a rhombus that's kind of interesting. Yeah, that's, well, I guess there's two, two things that are interesting. Um, that means opposite sides are parallel. Um, anybody else notice anything in this picture? Opposite angles are equal. Opposite angles are equal. Like yep, that looks right too. Okay, so let's. Anything else? Um, I, I think you're on the right track. I'm not sure I would have said it the same way, but I heard the right words in there. So maybe I'll shorten it a little bit. Um, the diagonals, they, they, they cross at 90 degrees. So these diagonals here, they make 90 degrees when they hit. And there's another thing about the diagonals. Um, this diagonal here is the same length as this one. They bisect each other. So this one here would be another length but it would be the same side there. So the diagonals have this interesting property that um, they bisect and they um, intersect at 90 degrees. So it's four same triangles? Yeah, so there would be similar triangles in there. That's right, too. So you guys could have been Euclid, right? You're just born too late. Or you could have been sitting on the beach in Egypt doing geometry. Wouldn't that be better than sitting here right now? <laughs> okay, so let's try to find some of those properties. What is angle A, B, E? Now, I'll just do this one time for you, but if you're not sure what angle we're talking about, because it's not labeled by a number, the convention is that you run your finger from A to B to E, and this is the angle that we're referring to up here. Okay? So what uh, would that angle up in the top corner be? Yeah, 35, how come? Yeah, so isosceles triangle is the easiest one to say. Equal sides, equal angles. Okay, angle AEB, which is this one here. What angle would AEB? 110. Yes, it is 110. How did you know that? Because um, the sides of the triangle sum up to 180. Yeah. Okay, so 35, 35, and 110 adds up to 180. B E D. Okay. So how do you get angle B E D here? Wow, that was fast. How did you get 70? Yeah. All right. Angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. So 70 degrees here. I guess I should start labeling this so we can look at the picture. 70 degrees plus 110 makes for uh, the 180 degree line, flat line. Oh, you just flipped it. Sorry? Like the 70 is on the inside, the 110 is on the outside. Oh, sorry, yeah, I wrote them in the wrong place there. Let me, uh... So it's 110 here <coughs> and 70 there. Okay, um, so let's take a look. B, C, D. So here's B, C, D. 
Yes, that's also going to be 70 degrees. Okay, BCF. So here's BCF. It's this top little corner one right here. Anybody, uh, what do you think? What's your intuition? What, do you, what would you like to guess? Divided by 2 is 55. 35. 35 is your intuition? Why would you think that? Because the diagonal splits it. Yeah, that's a good way of thinking about it, right? Is your, the diagonals here, so this diagonal, it's going to bisect that angle. Um, pardon me? Well, we didn't know that before now, but we will in a second. So what I'm saying is that um, it's got a bisect because it chops that line in half, right? If it chops the line BD in half, if it chops that in half, then it has to bisect the angle as well. So there's going to be 35 here. Your intuition is correct. So this is... Uh, the rhombus diagonal bisects. So something like that would be enough. Um, BFC, so that'll be BFC. Uh, we've already talked about that. It's 90 degrees. Again, it's a rhombus diagonal, so it's going to have 90 degrees where it intersects. CBF. Okay, oh, I shouldn't even bother asking you. Is it worth it? No, forget it. So 35 and something and 90 is 180, so uh, it's going to be 55 degrees. So 55 degrees, this is a triangle sum. Okay, so shorter problem. Yeah, don't we like geometry? Circles. Uh oh, circles are good though. Circle geometry is our topic for Math 11. So uh, yeah, so don't worry. Circles are good. We'll like them. So yeah, maybe I'll give you a minute to draw it. So take 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 your time. If you've already got it, you can work on those numbers. Okay, so um. I know some of you might just be finishing your picture. That's fine. So let's uh, take a look. Uh, anyone come up with angle number one? Can we just do number five first? Yeah. <laughs> you want to do number five first? Okay. Number five. What's uh, what's number five? One oh eight. One oh eight. How do you do that? That's crazy. Would you like spend hours? Yeah, it's along the traversal here. So here's there's my traversal. They're on the same side of the traversal. So angles on the same side add up to 180. 72 plus 108 is 180, so yep, that's correct. So angles, same side of traversal. Okay, um, any other angles that you came up with? You don't have to start at number one. Is it the circle? Like, look at this. All of a sudden, you see a circle, and your minds have just been blown. Oops, hang on a second. There we go. Yeah, computer just quit, too, but we're back. Any other eye? Hmm. Well, let's talk about, uh, you should be able to get angle one fairly quickly. Why would you say that is? Well, sorry? It is. How do you know that it's an isosceles triangle? Radius, that's the easiest way to think about it. From here to here is a radius. From here to here is a radius. Same lengths. That means number one is 53 as well because this is an isosceles triangle. Okay. Um, number two, 103, sorry, 53 plus 53 is 106. In the triangle, it's got to add up to 180. So that means, yep, 74. Okay. Now, it says that um, these two angles are equal. So, good, yeah. So, around the point would be 360 degrees. Um, I've already used 74. And there's two equal angles. So, divide them by two. What was the answer? 143. 143. Okay. So, number four. Um, hmm, how would you get number four? Say again? Four angles adds up to 360 degrees. 
guarantee that? <laughs> You're right, but uh, we'll talk about that. That's not a property I think we've talked about just yet. Um, there's one, though, that we do have that we can use. Yes? It is. It's a C angle. So here's my traversal. And here were my parallel sides. So this one plus this one is 180. So 143 plus 37 is 180. So I'll put here this is a C angle. 